Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombly's 14 points clear. Are you kidding me? In League Two, we can basically do whatever we want between now and the end of the season, and we will still go up to League One, where we will face the team that used to be us, MK Dons. Um, we still have, I, I, I put a, a other John Green on the bench just for one more day. I just want him to recover one more, one more game. Um, but ball John Green starting today. I just figured it'd be nice to have, uh, you know, you don't, you don't want to come back too soon from an injury. And I know other John Green, he's got too much hunger. You know, that's just who he is as a player and as a person. Like he just, he loves this club so much. Um, he knows that we are owned by our fans and he doesn't want to disappoint the owners. Um, so I understand. Oh, that should have been a goal. But if other John Green had been on the end of that cross, it would have been in the goal 10 times out of 10 because he's a finisher. Um, speaking of finishing, I'm going to talk today about virginity. That was a topic that someone suggested. So I thought we'd take a break from the Project for Awesome Topics for a day or two and uh, talk about uh, virginity. What I, what I, I, I guess the idea was what are my thoughts on virginity. But I'll also tell you about when I lost my virginity because that won't be weird for you guys um, or for me. So... Um, yeah, first off, I think virginity is a really weird idea, uh, but it was a really powerful idea when I, w I was a kid. Like, I, it, it's deeply, you know, I don't know why I never thought about this when I was, when I was younger, but, like, it's such a weird and problematic idea that um, you're somehow pure unless and until you do, like, one particular sexual act, like, super particular, um, and that uh, un until you do that and unless you do it, you're not really a man or... Um, or or in the case of, uh, so it's, it, and that's the other thing about it is how like weirdly patriarchal virginity is that like doing, uh, you know, engaging in this one particular sex act, if you're a dude, makes you a man. If you're a woman, it makes you impure. Um, well, you know, how does that work though? Because yeah, anyway, it's so it's, a, it, it, I don't know why, I don't know why it still had power to me because I should have been able to say like, well, this is a ludicrous concept and like, Let's just, you know, like, let's do uh, sexually, like, let's, let's do what we're comfortable with as, as partners in the relationship that we're in or in the situation that we're in and, like, not worry too much about whether it's, uh, it constitutes virginity or losing virginity or not. But anyway, that didn't happen for me at all. Like, instead, it was a tremendously powerful idea in my life. And I was really, like, at first I was kind of proud of the fact, oh, off the post! Oh! At first, I was kind of proud of the fact that I was I was a virgin. I mean, I was also I generally I found sex very scary. Like I found it very like weird and intimidating and scary when I was a, a teenager, and it seemed like uh, guys were con in in retrospect, of course, they were feigning confidence. But like it seemed like other guys were super confident about it and knew what they were doing, and I felt like I was a complete uh, novice, which you know I was, um, and I, I felt like constantly kind of like like worried about it worried that I you know wasn't uh wasn't going to be good at it worried that like I want you know whatever um this instead of like focusing on what like sex should be about which is like you know two people who uh you know have like mutually agreed to do this do 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 this weird stuff together you know finding out like what's what's fun for what's fun for them and like and doing it um uh, but instead, like, you know, there was the rigidity of the base system of uh, first base and second base and third base and, and a home run. And there was uh, all of, you know, this mental focus on my part of like, what, you know, like, what's going to, what am I ready to do and what am I not ready to do? And, um, but it wasn't really about, it wasn't about what I was really ready to do. It was about like, what kind of person I wanted to seem like to people who I would tell about the stuff that I had done. Um, and yeah, that was really problematic looking back on it and like kind of embarrassing. But so anyway, I, 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 I guess that I graduated from high school technically, uh, where, what would now, what would, what would be considered a virgin? Although I had, you know, lots of, like, like I said, I think virginity is kind of a stupid, uh, not kind of, I think it is a pretty stupid construct. And, um, I think it's a really weird construct as well because, uh, it, it says that lots of people like, um, you know, people who aren't. Uh, you know, heterosexual, uh, a lot of people who aren't, like, heterosexual, cisgendered people, like, 
can never have sex, you know? It's such a weird, anyway, it's such a weird specific definition that we have of like what constitutes sexual intercourse as like most, most as made most famous by uh, Bill Clinton wh when he was president, um, engaged in oral sex with a woman, but did not engage in what he considered sexual intercourse. Ergo, he had not really had, quote, sexual relations with her. So when he said that he did not have sexual relations with her um, under oath, he was not lying because uh, that particular act does not constitute sexual relations. Like, there was something about the ludicrousness of that whole conversation in the uh, late 1990s that, that, um, that should have, again, emphasized to me how strange and uh, unnecessary and, and weird this whole uh, virginity construction was. So, anyway... Uh, then when I was in college, I met a girl, um, I, who I dated, I ended up dating for many, many years and was very like great, um, person and great partner. And, um, I'm sure still is just not to me. Uh, and w we, uh, we had sex like relatively early in our, like relatively quickly, I guess, in our relationship. Like we both kind of decided that we liked each other and also that we wanted to, uh, to get this, uh, to get this past us. And it was terrible. Um, it was uh it was not good it was it was awkward and weird and neither of us really knew what the hell we were doing and then it got better like you know most of the things it's the exact same as my relationship with paying my mortgage by the way um you know the first time it was very scary and weird and i didn't feel good about it and uh i felt like i'd screwed it up and i kept apologizing to uh the mortgage people because i thought i'd send in the wrong form and, you know, then I got better at it, and now I'm able to do it without even worrying about whether it's good or bad. Um, that's, that's what you thought you were going to get in a video about virginity. Comparisons to paying your mortgage. Um, <laughs> it is, I must say, significantly more fulfilling than paying my mortgage. Uh, although that, you know, it's all, that's, also, that's also a nice way to spend a Tuesday evening. So anyway, um, the long, I can't believe I'm... I can't believe I'm defending so poorly there okay the long and short of it is that uh you know like once uh once i was once she and i were sexually active like um i stopped thinking about uh this you know intercourse being the only like kind of sex or being the only like fulfilling sex that human beings could have or the only like quote unquote real sex that human beings can have and that was like the main that was the main thing but i didn't have to have sex to have that realization um you know i could have i could have had that realization just by having it um so uh yeah that was the main oh did I, oh you were naughty you were naughty i'm sorry it's not it's not my fault that you broke the rules that was a great tackle great job there all right um yeah so i just i'm not is it still nil nil this is an unreasonable I'm, I'm doing an unreasonably poor job today and i don't know why i don't know i guess maybe are the boys tired oh they're very tired meredith how did you let this happen i blame you um what were you distracted by your boss talking about losing his virginity that's not is that weird um so, uh, oh, Kennedy, God, I wish I could sub you out, but you're so good at your job. Um, all right, ball John Green's off. We got a whole new front line now. Now we're going to score. We're going to go into attacking mode. Um, but, yeah, I, 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 I think um, it, there's something really, really troubling to me about, uh, about this very narrow definition of virginity and then putting this huge emphasis on it uh, and on a moment, a moment where you lose your virginity. The, the, this like, you know, great, are you all right there, other John Green? This great moment in your life where you are transformed, either transformed by becoming less pure, or transformed by becoming an adult or whatever it is, that, that, that like this coming of age drama is played out uh, sexually and not just sexually, but in a very specific sexual way um, that, uh, you know, that like makes you a real proper person or whatever. This is problematic to me for in a number of ways, but one of them is that you don't, like, sexuality isn't an event. It's a process. And having sex isn't an event. It's a process. And, like, so I think, like, we want, we, it, it, like, we, we seem to like, as humans, we seem to like 
um, events. Like we seem to like imagining things as uh, singular moments, um, like the singular moment of being born again or the singular moment of, uh, of some realization or another realization. Like there's something very appealing to us about uh, these events. But like almost all of those events are really predicated on processes. Um, and I, I really believe that about, about human sexuality, that like it isn't, um, you know, you don't, if you want to imagine virginity, um, you can't imagine it as something that you lose all at once because like, you know, like you're, there's the, there's the sexual in, engagement of kissing for the first time. There's the sexual engagement of being naked with someone for the first time. Like there's all, you know, there's all kinds of ways of being sexual. And I, 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 I oh no, Seb Brown. Seb Brown, he saved two penalties against Luton Town to send us into the Football League to make this game possible, and then he saves a heroic, I mean, that was a big-time Seb Brown save right there. That's the kind of thing, that's what we've learned to expect from him. I love it. I love seeing it. Go ahead and tackle me in the box. I don't mind. That's the only way I'm going to score is if I get a penalty anyway. Um, so, yeah, I, I just, I would encourage you to, to, um, you know, to not to think about sexuality not as a series of events, but as as a process, and um, and to you know have like really. I know that it's difficult, and I know that it's I know that it can be weird, and like I wanted to make this video partly because it's difficult and weird, um, but like I really want to encourage people to uh, to, to have like open and honest honest conversations um, with you know with their partners, whether it's you know whether it's a casual thing or a long term relationship or whatever. Like um, you know nothing. Nothing that you feel is, is weird or wrong. Uh, and uh, I, I wish that I'd known that when I was a teenager. Thank you for watching. Sorry about the nil-nil draw. Standard swoodly pooper. Best wishes. Oh, I owe 50 bucks to AFC Wimbledon now because I mentioned the swoodly poopers. Burr, burr, burr.